What's going on ladies and gentlemen? All right, for once, it's a nice, beautiful Saturday. I don't have anything lined up. I just took my daughter out, bought some, you know, took her to the mall, did that stuff. Had to come back to the trailer with all the work that's been going on. I've been throwing a lot of stuff in the trailer. You know, I talk about organization, but everything was thrown around. So I spent some time today putting some stuff, rearranging, all right? These pockets, they're working out all right, but I, you know, if anyone has any better ideas, I mean, I got everyone think pretty much in order, but if you have any ideas, not a cabinet maker, none of that stuff, but hey, I found some uh, tools I always look around for, okay, especially this pry bar right here. So now it's on a, it's on a nail, it's not going anywhere. It'll swing around, but when you want it, you just lift up, take it off. Same with the uh, squares here. They're just placed in with screws, okay? You can just lift it out and then basically get it in there. So when you're driving, it's not going left or right, front or back. Um, the one thing I did find, I'm sure all the guys out there have owned one of these guys in there, you know, one, one time or another. I bought that, believe it or not, I was 12 years old, 12 or 13. I paid for it. It came from, we have a hardware store, it's called Keo's Hardware, okay? Back in those days, it was Turner River Hardware. I bought that myself, and I loved to come home and, believe it or not, chop down the trees in the woods. I'd go behind the school. I'd chop, I'd chop so many little trees down, it was crazy. But I found it. found it in the basement here. Um, it is. It's old. It's an old one, but out of all the tools in this trailer, the saw is everything. That thing right there means the most to me. Okay, forget about the pneumatic nailers and all the battery-powered crap. That brings back a lot of good memories. All right, so I put the uh, power washer right here in the front. I moved the compressor. It worked out well. It fits. I know what people are thinking. What do you got the compressor for and the hose? Because I have the other guns. But, hey, you never know. And it's in here. It's neat. Um, this area I'm dressing up a little bit. Uh, that's the old saw. If anyone's interested in this guy, it works fine. I'm just moving everything over to the Octane. Let me know. Shoot me a comment, okay? Uh, whatever the shipping is, you want to pay the shipping, I'll, I'll send it to the house. If it's cheap, if you're close, eh, maybe we'll uh, do a quick giveaway, all right? That's pretty much it, okay? So today's done organize organization at the end of the week when you're finished i know it's tough because you want to just relax but put everything in its place so when you do go and look for it when you need a tool you'll find it god you know how many times i even tried to look for this little thing right here i couldn't find it drove me nuts okay could be anything here this you're going to need for the uh the wand so I'm going to put all, all the little things here in, in this, all the little loose ends right there on the top so I know where to look. Okay, I know what you're thinking. What's this right there? You got it right, kid. That's TP. You never know when nature comes calling, cuz. And that should be a whole new, that's a whole nother video, okay? We'll talk about that when nature calls, you know what I'm saying? Just in case, kid. Look it. I never used it yet. This thing was like 12 or 15 bucks online, but let me tell you something. In case of an emergency, it's a little little tiny, uh, you know, little tiny lid there, okay? And I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. That, that toilet paper, it's almost empty. Well, before I got this, I was using that to clean my hands off, believe it or not. So, that's another thing. Three, four bucks at Home Depot. It's worth, it's worth, it's every penny it's worth. All right, so yeah, I grabbed, I'll put things anywhere I can little level there extra i hang things on screws I, I move things around non-stop and that's the only way you can do it you, it's just trial and error you keep trying and uh whatever works for you works so that's it thanks again for watching as always you know what to do subscribe okay share like this bag right here i think i bought it was an impulse buy of crap i don't know what i'm gonna do with it if you have any ideas with this one guys shoot me a quick uh comment at the bottom okay and uh again thanks for watching 
Have a great weekend, and we'll catch you next week.